Now, there really are some contrasting fortunes for Korea's ever-growing ranks of airlines. The new players are flying high, while the traditional big names, Korean Air and Asiana Airlines, are experiencing quite a bit of turbulence. Lee jong Yun reports. Korea's low-cost carriers are taking a bigger share of the market these days, with the number of passengers opting to fly at cheaper prices steadily increasing. However, the number of people flying with full-service carriers, or FSCs, such as the country's main carriers, Korean Air and Asiana Airlines, is on a steady downswing. The Ministry of Land, Infrastructure and Transport said on Monday that in May, LCCs took a 57 percent share of all total domestic flights and a record high of 26 percent of international flights. Korean Air and Asiana Airlines, on the other hand, both saw drops year-on-year, year, whilst all the low-cost carriers saw significant increases on-year, with Jeju and Tiwei Airlines seeing a more than a 50 percent increase. The most popular budget airlines for flights abroad were Jeju Air, Jin Air and Tiwei Airlines. An increasing number of young travelers on package deals are using low-cost carriers for short-distance flights. The main difference between the two types of airlines is simple. Full-service carriers offer added services such as in-flight meals, free beverages and access to airport lounges for frequent flyers. Conversely, low-cost carriers only sell core products such as seating and minimal luggage allowance. Despite such limitations, people still see the perks of traveling with low-cost airlines. You kind of want to keep it cheap because you know, at the end of the day, it's just a flight. You don't need all the expensive stuff. It's just get one, one place to the other and that's it. <laughs> People used to think low-cost airlines were synonymous with low quality, but that has changed recently due to the diverse options these carriers are offering. So I prefer to travel with them. Pundits say this growing popularity of low-cost airlines can be attributed to young Koreans wanting to travel on a budget in a sluggish economy. And we can expect this trend to continue for the time being. Lee Jung-yeon, Arirang News.